this was a pretty short cycle. I believe it was two months ago we were talking about Team Fisher. Um, this was a open source tool that had been uh, released to demonstrate something that Microsoft refused to fix. So, or I think in this article it generously says that they declined to fix it at the time. What was interesting about this was it allowed you to kind of pop up and look like you were on the same like team as someone, like within the same company, and send them information that would cause them to then open a malicious file and give you access to all sorts of stuff. Um, it didn't take long for Teams Fisher, uh, this publicly available tool, to be used in basically exactly that. Um, so looks like this was exploited by APT29, uh, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. And as soon as they saw this tool, they thought it was great and decided to use it to attempt to do some phishing attacks while posing as somebody within the organization. Uh, Microsoft has suspended the accounts affiliated with the attack, but uh, still a pretty a pretty short cycle to the researcher being like, hey, this is a problem. Microsoft being like, that's not really a problem. And then the researcher being like, all right, well, if that's not a problem, then here's this free tool to do that thing. And uh, good luck, everyone. And then like three months later, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service doing exactly that thing.